This sea of debris is a lake in North Carolina, filled with fragments of people's homes or belongings. A glimpse into the scale of destruction left behind by Hurricane Helene. Aaron, his wife and two children, one of the hundreds of families now homeless. It's rent. And, um, I mean, there's no roads. There's no evidence of roads. There's no trees. It's just, it's just water and stone. There's, there's nothing left. Helene's path of devastation started on Florida's Gulf Coast five days ago before causing historic flooding, wide-ranging power outages and severe damage across six states and more than 800 kilometres. More than 3,000 federal personnel are deployed across the US to help with the recovery. With hundreds still unaccounted for and the death toll still climbing, President Joe Biden announced he would travel to North Carolina on Wednesday. The state is one of the worst hit, with dozens killed and more than half a million people without power. We know that the devastation brought by Hurricane Helene is beyond belief. Communities were wiped off the map. Dozens of lives lost. Hundreds of roads remain damaged or impassable. Communication has been difficult due to cell phone and power outages. Officials have warned that the rebuilding process will be particularly lengthy with damage estimates ranging from 15 to more than $100 billion.